We've been teasing you and asking you during the show. Did you get it right? This picture right here. You know what this is? A couple of you did text it in. Yeah, it's the Abe Lincoln statue in Julia Davis Park. 6,500 pound Lincoln replica had to be put in place there by a crane in 2013. The sculptor, the same, same guy who helped sculpt Mount Rushmore. And if you've been out there, you know how big it is, that statue and Mount Rushmore. Well, today our 16th president would have been 211 years old. No, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have made it that far. Idaho's official Lincoln scholar, former Lieutenant Governor General, or Lieutenant Attorney General, excuse me, Dave Leroy once said, more than any other state, Idaho is related to Abraham Lincoln. His name conjures up images like log cabins, top hats, and honesty. But what about Idaho? After all, the 16th president of the United States is credited with creating the territory of Idaho back in 1863, smack dab in the middle of the Civil War. The gem state soon became a destination for displaced Southern Democrats who fought for the Confederacy. And thanks to the 1862 Homestead Act, more than 60,000 families settled in Idaho, each living and farming on 160 acres of land. That same year, Lincoln signed a bill which funded public colleges focused on agriculture and mechanical arts. One of those, the University of Idaho in Moscow. Three years later, history suggests Lincoln was considering Idaho issues in the White House in April of 1965. He even invited former governor of the Idaho Territory, William Wallace, to attend Ford's theater with him that fateful night. But Wallace declined. His death meant Lincoln would never get to step foot in Idaho, but his legacy is littered around Boise, from a room at the Capitol to a statue outside the Black History Museum. Another stands just about a block from the State House. It has since 2009. Before that, it was perched outside the Boise Veterans Home for 94 years. At some point around the century mark, vandals decided Lincoln needed some pizzazz. Today, several hundred pieces of Lincoln memorabilia are on display at the Idaho State Archives. The pizza costume, not included. More of Lincoln's legacy, it's on display right now at the Idaho State Historical Society.